let's uh there's no hecklers in the audience, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh we got two more, we got two more. Yeah, where's my where's my boyfriend? <laughs> I forgot he was coming. Yeah. Let's try this. Coming in and then I think I just kidding guys, just kidding. Welcome Matt and Ashley and Chris. So adjust. So later on, Howie is late. This has crushed him. This is Howie. This is how we D and this is how we do it. But he, he is crushed right now because he even called me and said, Can you apologize to the guys? I'm so sorry. I didn't know. He wasn't partying. He actually went to bed. But definitely when he comes, we either have to applaud or boo. Boo. Which one would you think would happen? Boo. Boo. Applaud. Boo. No, no, you're not late. He was in the lake with a bunch of piranhas. His shirt got to him. Go down with your band, Timmons. If, I had, with if band. I had a body like that, I'd have holes in my shirt, too. The only holes in Actually, you problem. have holes in your shirt, and you don't have a body like that. Which is I have holes in my underwear. <laughs> there, too. Pants, shoes, whatever. Yeah, because you got to put them on. Yeah. What do you think, Jeff? For, I think, how the hell did I get stuck? Let's see the two of you. Ladies, do you have questions? We have I so can't many breathe. questions, and the fans are also going to get to ask questions in a little bit. But first, obviously, Invisible Howie aside, uh, we are missing a few members of a few bands here, okay. so... <laughs> None of ours! Uh... Wait, where's Kaika? <laughs> Too soon. Too soon, it's been 20 years, bro. <laughs> Shut up. 20 years. Because I was making fun of him last night for it. Sure. When was the last time you guys were all together? Have you all been together on one stage like this? No. We, uh, we've never been together. I don't, th I don't think it ever needs to happen again, either. <laughs> When's the last time O-Town was all together on yeah, one that's stage? That's what I want. August. Oh, shit. August 8th, 2003. That was the last time we were all in the same room together. Damn! August 8th, 2003. It's my birthday. No, your birthday's August 1st. Birthday's August 8th. We did a show on August 2nd in Cincinnati. I'm, 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 I, I thought you were Ashley. Uh, we look a lot alike. 13 years. 13 years. So, that's pretty cool. That being said, can everyone kind of give us an update of where each band is and sink aside, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be around, guys, but I think they all... Well, oh, oh, we already know that Backstreet's back. <laughs> they never left. Yeah, thank you. All right, I guess it's just O Town and 90 Degrees then. Where have you guys been? Uh, we've been on tour. We're recording a new album. Right now. All right, that's it. <laughs> no, really, finish. What is it? Uh, well, we're recording a new album right now. That's nice. Who's producing it? Uh, us and Mark Suhonen. He's not here. Obviously, he is the only one from, from O Town who's not Go. here. Do you know? No, he's in the hotel room sleeping. Um, so you're on tour, me and Chris are not on tour, I, I sell weenies, so if y'all want to come, thank you, I have more than one, thank you, I thought you said um, weenies. weenies, weenies, I sell weenies, I would never be on a box of weenies, more like hey, fatties, what's going on down there? We're just enjoying the show. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why anybody else has a damn mic on this panel. I'm gonna need, well, I was doing this and handing it down. That's what I was saying. She asked a question. I said it. Now, Maybe because no one on this panel has nothing else to do except for me and Joey. <laughs> But yeah, doing that, and uh, I don't know. Hopefully, maybe do another Dead Seven film or something. Woohoo! What's up, y'all? Hi, Eric. I'm so happy to be here. Even though we all hate each other. <laughs> no, we don't. We love each other. Um, so obviously, Church deeply uh, touched on the fact that we're doing an album. Thank you. And, um, you know, the last album we did, Lines and Circles, was really um, a comeback effort for us. And 
we just did a Kickstarter, and because of a lot of our fans, we were able to raise money for our Kickstarter in a record seven hours, um, which is incredible. And then obviously we um, we doubled that number by the end of our month, so there's definitely another O-Town album coming up, and it's gonna be better than the last one. Uh, how many of you guys are here my yesterday? Name. If you don't know, I have laryngitis. You're so good though. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's laryngitis now? That's what it's, yeah, that's what it's been, as far as I know, but yeah. I should never kiss Chris again. Uh, I would say as far as Backstreet Boys, we're back in the studio making our 10th album. We have the fastest selling residency in Vegas history. And we are also doing a other secret album that uh, is going to be pretty freaking cool. So uh, I'm not sure if that's going to come out before or after the uh, brand new BSP. And on top of all that, uh, I'm going to be doing two full length feature films. Thanks to Nick and these guys and Dead Seven. So uh, that's going to be pretty freaking cool for me. So. And Mike Drum and how he sucks. <laughs> Am I gonna get the laryngitis? Yep. I'm not gonna get the laryngitis. The laryngitis. I'm not gonna get the laryngitis. The pink eye and the laryngitis. There was a pink eye on the way there. I'm gonna explain that one away. I was hanging out with the guys again. I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now. All you have to do is tell whoever you're with. I was hanging out with Joey, and they're like, oh, okay, I get it. Right away. And then they asked, did you get arrested? How many school clubs did you visit? Pink eyes first, though. Well, you, you, you have a really busy year. You make our sound really boring. I like, you guys, how do you think I feel? I like Vegas. <laughs> I like Vegas. I like Vegas, too. You like Vegas. You guys going to have any openers in Vegas? Because maybe we should, like, yeah. That's what we want to do. Yeah. So any, again, thanks to anybody here who helped us with the Kickstarter. We're excited to give you some new music. Yay! Woo! I'm gonna try to stay as quiet as possible during this whole event. And that's different from. Yeah, that's true. It's part for the course. Happy to be here. <laughs> I have a question for Dan. How do you get your hair like that? Yeah. Yeah. It's looking fresh, dude. And, and can I have some? I, I feel like your hair got cooler after we just did the tour with Ryan Cabrera. Yes. Watching him do his hair for the hour before the show got you all inspired. For an hour. That's what I've been up to recently, just working on my hair. Just working on my hair. It's a full-time job these days. Underwear selfies, that's a full-time job too. What's up, guys? You guys feeling good this morning? Now that you brought it to everyone's attention, now that you said it first, really? <laughs> underwear? I will be doing an underwear calendar as well. <laughs> it's going to be me and Ashley. It's actually, actually a two-year calendar. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be a two-year calendar. It's like Mike and I candies, but it's going to be Ashley and Joey. <laughs> Ash and Joe. Joey gets leap year. Twice. Is it a two year count? Well, no, it's a brief count. It's okay. Doesn't work. That is awesome. Yes, yeah, so look out for that. Um, toured across the country in uh, Wicked the Musical last year. That was a lot of fun. Played uh, Prince Fierro. That was a role I wanted to play after. Uh, playing uh, Lake Larkin and, and Harrisburg and Broadway and like that direction. It's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, maybe saw some of you guys out there on the road school. Without love. <laughs> <laughs> a song from Harrisburg. <laughs> yeah, and uh, no, I was actually, who saw Joey in Rent? 
Four people, thanks, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did. Five. <laughs> Half of it. Count, count me on four. Uh, actually, you know what? Three? Anybody else have done Broadway? I know, I was about to say Drew has. Three of us actually have. Yeah. Rub it in. It was a great experience. That was actually really inspiring to me. I saw uh, Joey and Rent, and I was like, shit. If he can do it. <laughs> And um, got got to got to do hairspray with Lance actually, so that was a lot of fun. And uh, and uh, my actually my I gotta give props to my son uh, who did American Horror Story last season. Yeah. Got to go back to L.A. and and help him with that. That was his first big acting gig, so that was really cool. And um, and yeah, follow me on Instagram because <laughs> there's always adorable pictures. <laughs> give us a little taste of what's on your Instagram. <laughs> Come by I booth. will. Come by the booth. <laughs> Said little taste. <laughs> I'm just glad we didn't have to be the ones to ask for that. Um, let's back Wait, on. wait, we're still on 98 degrees. Let's slow oh. down a little bit. I'm sorry. Just because they're on. <laughs> oh. No, 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 sit back down. Sit back down. There's no leaving this Somebody's room. not making it out of here alive. <laughs> they like me. I had them laughing while you guys were late. So. Like. These are the headliners of the My 2K tour, okay? We pay them respect. Listen, okay? <laughs> Thanks. You go. Thank you. Um, so we were on tour this summer on the My 2K tour. It was us, O-Town, Dream, Ryan Cabrera, for those of you guys that didn't get a chance to see it. Um, what are we doing right now? Shit, I don't know. They made up their mind. There's no turning back. You know? no. All right. Um, so we're, we're obviously looking for other opportunities to tour. We're looking at international dates. We're talking about getting back in the studio. Um, we're just trying to figure out in our mind what that looks like. Do we follow the O-Town path and do it independently? Or do we sign back with another label? Do we want to get into that big deal and deal with 360s and people and all this fun stuff that you guys don't want to know about? Do you want to sign us? And there's always Vegas too, like the Backstreet Boys are doing. You know, I'm based out of Vegas. Congratulations on your residency there. I've heard a lot about it being, you know, being there for a few na few years now. But you know, stuff like this. I mean, in the meantime, while we figure out, you know, we had a blast, the best time of our lives actually. This last tour, touring with those town, coolest guys on the planet, talented guys. It was an honor to be with them. But things like this, you know, the, these these cons, and when we get to sit around and mess around and. Boo. 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 What a jerk! Join us. What are you <laughs> just Give me a round of applause, yeah. folks. Who showed up to the Comic Con today? Howie D. Frolix. <laughs> what have you been up to, Howie? That's what he I thought I was rock star, not pop star. I was uh, pulling the back the little AJ card normally. That's a little late. But, uh, just joking, AJ. AJ's here. Just joking, AJ. Just joking. AJ's here with, the, with Bell's on it. No, normally AJ's the first one to be on, on Thank time. Thank you, always. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, you. Kevin's always late. He is. Hence, Backstreet. That is true, that is true. I apologize. I was on Florida time an hour later. So, excuse me. And you're ahead. And you're ahead. And you're ahead. Excuse me. <laughs> That didn't work out. That's even worse of an excuse. <laughs> Obviously. At least you are an hour and a half late. Alright, so you guys, oh, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> what I wanted to say was, boy. Hold on, Jeff's still talking. So Any, oh, what, what I wanted to say is thank you guys. Uh, in the meantime, while we decide what we're going to do next, and there will be something next for us, we appreciate doing this stuff with these guys, with our peers. They're a blast to be around. And certainly, it's all because of you, no pun intended, that you guys are out here. So thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Can you believe it's all these boy bands up on this stage right now? Yes. <laughs> it's like a TRL, like... Actually, <laughs> it's a like TRL just throw up everywhere. <laughs> I think this is a dream come true for most of the yes. people in this room, so yes. let's be real excited about it. Okay, so you guys kind of talked about Backstreet going to Vegas, which is super exciting. Um, would you, have you ever thought about inviting some of these other guys? No. Howie no. says no. So. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Of course. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> 
Joey was actually, I think when the uh, announcement came out, actually Joey was supposed to be on the, the tour with us for some yeah. while. Um, KTLA put it yeah. up and said, Backstreet Boys are going to have a residency in uh, Vegas. And it was AJ, Nick, and my face. <laughs> So I texted him, I said, hey, thanks guys, I didn't know I was really going to do this residency. I'm like, shit, I'm out of the tour, I guess. <laughs> I was like, thank God he's out of the band officially. <laughs> what band? Yeah. Just what do you like to know? <laughs> Wait a minute, man. The one that's been rehearsing for the last six months. <laughs> uh, so speaking of what band, um, so obviously we already assume that it's been a long time since you were all on the stage together, but back in the day, like, rewind, because it's rewind on, uh -huh. which one of these boy bands on stage had the most beef with each other? Nobody. Oh. Me and AJ. Yep. <laughs> True. Care to elaborate was over a dumb girl. It was a dumb guy over a dumb girl. I dumped her. <laughs> As did I. <laughs> we actually won that one. Yeah. Yeah. And now they're gonna be doing a duet together. Girl is mine. Remake. Because the dog girl is mine. She's mine. She's mine. No, no, no. She's mine. <laughs> I can see he's got his shades on, that's all shiny. Um, Alright, so if you guys could go back to your time when you first came out and, you know, the first time your first record went huge, is there anything that you guys kind of wish went differently, one thing you would have changed? My Miss America one? performance. What? Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> Should you say that? Yeah, I did. Oh, great. <laughs> I guess Ashley has the floor. Um. <laughs> you guys remember making the band, there was a Miss America performance? Yeah. God, the, the fucking rehearsal went so good. It was so good. And then live TV happened. And that was a big opportunity to have that happen. Um, we were under a lot of pressure to do, do what we were doing on, on, on a television show where the stakes were really high and the pressure was really high to do it very fast. And so, looking back, I think, um, yeah, it's just not, it's not a normal situation. So, but we grew from that and we learned a lot from it. And uh, particularly about, what, what was it? What, did we ever find out what went wrong? Dan, who never talked Yeah, us? we yeah. sucked. <laughs> no, we actually talked about that this summer because on the My2K tour, we went back to that same building where we had Miss America, and we rocked that motherfucker. Wait, wait, so Ashley wasn't there and you guys sounded great? Oh. Is that what you're saying right now? <laughs> Boy, you guys should have seen we played here with Ashley. Yeah. Howie, yeah. Uh, speaking of back in the day, was there ever a song that maybe one of you passed on that went to another group on stage that you were like, damn, that was a hit. Like, why did we pass? I think we got all the scraps from Backstreet Boys. <laughs> <laughs> when we first started, we're like, oh. Show. There, there was a show you well, there was. Yeah. Thank you, guys. We did a, yeah, there was a show that actually they passed, and we thanked them every time. Yep. Oh, it was the Disney Channel good. one. They actually... <laughs> So, <laughs> thank you. So, but the funny one, they, they, they were actually, because you guys were so busy, you literally we passed up, because you guys, that's what I heard. I don't know if you were like, I don't want to do Disney. But we did this performance called In Concert. And it was the first time I was introduced that we came out. So, yeah, thanks, AJ. Thanks, Howie. Is that what you guys wore, those oversized fucking jerseys? <laughs> no. That was the Macy's performance, maybe something. Oh, okay. Well, I, was I was just checking. I was checking. FUBU. There's a lot of, well, there's a lot of regret for a lot of clothes that we wore. There's a, there was a pleather outfit that we all had for an award show or just had this blue one jumpsuit. I think we all have regrets. There, that's yeah. interesting. Mesh tank top. Mesh tank top. Yes, yes. Who wore a mesh tank top? Dan wore a mesh yeah. tank top, yes. I wasn't for a picture out of it. <laughs> Dan, yeah. 
What do you want me to say? <laughs> right. Nice nips. <laughs> okay, so some of your guys' lyrics are a little bit racy, I no. would say. No. I mean, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. <laughs> uh, has it ever gotten awkward when, like, young girls have sung them back to you? Like, I mean, these, I was singing these liquid dreams when yep. I was 13. Like, that's, that's really weird, right? That's the one, that's the one that keeps coming back. You want to put it in. <laughs> just literally, just like last year, one of Trevor's best friends has two daughters, his twin girls. They're really cute. They're probably like eight to ten years old, and their favorite song is "Right Kind of Wrong," which is fine if you like dance around to it and you don't know what it means. But it was like on the spur of the moment. He goes, "Hey, we're gonna bring them up and we're gonna let them. We're gonna like dedicate the song to them and let them dance." And, and we're like, uh, "Okay." <laughs> I didn't really think it through until we start singing, and I can't remember the words right now, but it's really about like telling you uh, like this girl is the right kind of wrong for you, and she's doing all these nasty, dirty things. And she's doing shots, and she's doing, and I'm like singing it to an eight-year-old, so I literally was like, I, I, I can't sing this. I made a concert, I can't sing this, Trev, we're, we're just gonna have to figure this out. Like, there's no way. This is not, I guess, you know, you're all videotaping. And I could just see how that was gonna be spun. So I kind of turned to him and was like, and you're not, nah, nope. We're just gonna dance this one out, guys. I think for us, the one that we did was Digital Get Down. Yeah. Yeah. So girls are like, Digital Get Down, just you and me. No. Was it me? Playing with the keyboard? Explain it, Dro. Playing DJ? Bring it back? Yeah, those Scratching. all seem very G-rated sort of activities. Yeah. <laughs> that would be it. So yeah, well, that was that was one. What else was one? Anything for you guys? You guys were so clean cut, 98 well, degrees. I mean, we had uh, we had a we had a song on 2.0 called Microphone. Um, you know, yeah. talking to the microphone. Yes, that's that's what he said in the song. And then we had another song on our first album that we. Uh, we recorded, it's called Baby Can I Touch You There. And it, it, which was fine, you know? You say you want a man to give you good love. But it was like all this stuff, until it was fine until your mom started singing it back to you. And it got really nasty. It was like, it got creepy and freaky. And um, from then on, I, couldn't, I could never listen to that song again. And it, it kind of scarred me. I would have to say for us, now, in like the last month, Ava's new favorite song is Lay Down Beside Me. Oh my god! And I know I never showed her the actual show video, but somehow she saw it. No. So now she's doing her little version no. on the floor. No. Oh my god. So inappropriate. Oh my god. But she is my kid, so. Um, all right, so That's before we kick it off to the fans and let them ask their questions, uh, what's some of your fa like craziest fan experiences that you've had over the years? I think it's crazy that, and not that it's super crazy and unacceptable because we love it. Crazy in like a loving way. Yeah, but we have girls who follow us on tour like all summer long. We don't know how they afford it, <laughs> but they find a way to sort of travel behind us and go to every show. And I think that is probably one of the more ultimate fan things to do, you know. And uh, I mean, we love it, but just like, how do you guys, how do you girls do it? We're good savers. Credit cards, right? Yeah. Yeah. You guys seem like people with tattoos, with maybe the tattoos of your faces or your names. We had a lot of that. At, at the other names, yeah, was That's just weird. That's just weird. I have kind of a tattoo story. Uh, actually, I remember one. Actually, uh, I don't know if Adrian was, remembers this, but eight, uh, Nick had this one fan over in uh, Europe somewhere. She might be here, actually. <laughs> um, but her mother was like obsessed with Nick, like marrying his, her daughter. And um, one night he said he went to bed and he said he looked at the door and he said he saw this little knife under the door go. No! He was like. <laughs> For real? Sure enough, this girl, her, her mother was like, took a little knife and was like sliding under the door. 
for the one beyond. <laughs> Is that the story? That was the story. Do we know Sorry. Why? <laughs> that was weird. All right, what time? Was Yesterday, it? I ate soup. Whoa! With a knife, <laughs> like this. Ashley, you said you had a tattoo story to share. Yeah, it's dark though. It's We're dark. Here. We're um, here for you. We, it's kind of a tattoo story. We, we landed in like Asia for the first time and there were all these fans at the airport and you know, we're, the handlers come, we're manager, you know, bodyguard, we're like running to go to the bus and all these fans are following us. This one girl is just the most hysterical of all of them. Like, Ashley, Ashley, I need to show you something. Ashley, Ashley. The whole time through the airport waiting for the bag, the whole like time and, and I'm like, uh, finally we get the bus, I'm like, you gotta let me just say hi to this girl because she's, freaking out more than everyone else and crying. So I go over and I go, so God, it's so nice to meet you. And and uh, she pulls up the this, this sleeve and she's taken a razor blade and for what looks to be a period of time has, has cut my name into her oh my arm. Gosh. And it got real dark, real quick. And I was like, I grabbed her, I was like, really sincerely, I was like, I don't want you to do that for me. And she goes, no, I do this for you. I do this for you. And I, the more I was like, no, no, don't do this for me. She was just even more crazy about, I do this for you. And so I have just had this memory of like, they pulled me on the bus and like, I went and I was looking out the window and just this crazy girl with this arm. And it was like, some of it was like bloody still. Yeah, it was still bloody. She's holding up her arm and it's like bloody. And she's like, I do this for you. You didn't think it was weird that there was a German chick in, where, in Japan or whatever you did? <laughs> Gotta work on the accent. Gotta work on the accent. On the next Yeah, season. Ashley, you're my favorite. <laughs> I cut my arm for you. I do another arm tomorrow. <laughs> and then I go back to Germany. But I love Japan while I'm here. <laughs> You mentioned tattoos, right? Yeah. We're in a world where like everyone's getting tattoos. I don't have any tattoos yet. However, a lot of our fans have chosen to start getting tattoos of lyrics that we've written, and that's pretty much been like an ultimate show of you know fandom. Um, when you see lyrics that you you've written on someone's arm or leg, and boob. <laughs> Other parts. Anyone? Anyone have a boob lyric tattoo? Or just a lyric tattoo? And then a boob lyric tattoo? <laughs> or just a boob? Just somebody to show a boob. <laughs> and we think there's nothing wrong with that, obviously. <clears throat> like getting tattoos and like that. I think it's just a weird one when it's like a signature, like an autograph or a face, but like lyrics like that or a symbol or something that we have. I think that's kind of a cool homage thing, but when you start to cut yourself, so like, don't do that, people. That's just stupid. <laughs> And on that note, we're going to kick it off to the fans. If you have any questions, please raise your hand, and Damien over here will bring you a microphone. First hand up. Hello? Hi, what's your name? I'm Emma. Hi, Emma. Paris, France. Oh. I'm Jane Howie. Welcome. Let's hear that accent. <laughs> um, so my question is for everyone. So you do this Common chum, common um, What is um, the the guest you dream to meet oh, on the yeah. con? Uh, everyone that's in 90210. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny, Jason, Luke, Gabrielle, all of them. And Tori. Is that all that's here? Vincent. I mean, Vincent. Oh, and Vincent, yeah, he's here too. Did anybody ever watch Sweet Valley High? Yes. Come on. Now, it's actually burning kind of, can you let them know what you have with you? Because you're, you're excited to see a lot of fans of a lot of people at different cons. What's the Trapper Keeper? Don't you have a Trapper Keeper? <laughs> he has a Trapper Keeper, and he has autographs. He has Apparently it's not a Trapper Keeper. Ah. No, it's what a was it, Drew? It's a Flipper Flappers. <laughs> It's like a flip binder or something. Flip binder, yeah. the generic like, poor, man, poor man's trap keeper. But he has like Ultraman, who was this huge, huge character. Obviously, a writer and all stuff in the, in the He's not here, though. He's not here. But I'm saying one of the cons we're talking about. So he was like, oh my God, you know who's here? And I'm like, who's? Oh. The guy did this Ultraman. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> but he literally has a trap keeper and he got an autograph by Ultraman. It's a picture of you doing the, what's this tea bagging thing? What is this? <laughs> I don't know, it's a tea or something. He's saying what? I mean, it's always fun though. 
Because I mean, a lot of these people that we that were doing these cons uh, throughout the years, they you know we we watched our movies. We looked. I mean, uh, flicks freaking here for crying out loud. Toy Story, the tongue stuck. That's awesome. Christmas story. Sorry, Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Next question. <laughs> He's running. He's running. He's running. Hi. Hi. Go for it, AJ. Uh, when, when Kevin wasn't in the room. Yes. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Take it away, AJ. <laughs> I am so going to miss you tomorrow. Um, I would say it's not really backstreet related but it happened during our backstreet career would be the birth of my little girl Aww. because they all have boys now about to have girl number two so I mean, shut down shop but uh, girls are definitely the best so karma's a bitch i have two cars on <laughs> I have two girls, so good luck, buddy. I have a 15 and a 6 year old. Mm -hmm. Wait until they start getting the, you know, that they have flow. Oh. <laughs> no, they get moody, they get, and you don't know how to handle it because, you know, 14, 15 years old, you go, eh, and she's like, you don't understand. I'm like, you're right, I know. I'm sorry. This is for everybody. What is your least favorite condiment? <laughs> you said popcorn? <laughs> least favorite. Least favorite condiment. Must condiment. Condom mint. Mine's mustard. Least? Mine's mayonnaise. Oh, yeah. I hate rum. Mine's mayonnaise. <laughs> What's a condiment? <laughs> Miracle whip. <laughs> you said popcorn. Popcorn is not a condiment. Yeah, I know. But I mean, so if you have you a real answer, go for it. Out, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm, with, I'm with Trevor on the mayonnaise. That's just wrong. 
Relish? Oh, you took mine's relish. Damn. Mine's relish, too. I like them all. I don't give a shit. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go with relish. Relish also. Oh. Yeah. Next question. Justin might have you beat. Hi, everyone again. I'm not gonna lie, I'm here for AJ. I do love all of you guys. You know, you didn't even have to say that. <laughs> you don't have to lie. You Nobody asked you that. Nobody was asking you that. Well, I had to do Howie when you walked in. And AJ, Howie does not suck. So I have a question I want all of you guys to answer. Because growing up reading your answers in magazines, one of the questions was um, who were your favorite artists and everything. And with watching you guys in the past, I don't know. Some years, your answers may have changed, but new artists coming up. Just wondering, go down the line, see who you enjoy listening to. Thank you. <laughs> but mostly AJ and Howie, right? Did I jack your joke? And Just want to make sure with this panel. 98 degrees. <laughs> oh, oh. Currently, I think like people like Bruno Mars, who's amazing, The Weeknd. Uh, you know, the pop R&B guys, we were heavily influenced by those urban acts. Um, and then doo-wop groups, of course, and, and stuff like that from the Motown era. We were signed to Motown originally, which was an honor for us. But Boys to Men, I think Boys to Men's uh, the main influence for our group. But, you know, it, we cover a vast array of different styles and stuff like that that have influenced us from rock groups, pop rock groups, R&B groups, hip-hop, doo-wop, all that stuff. So. Uh, I, I pretty much like the same artists that I liked back in the day. I like the classic soul artist. Um, I mean, I'm, my favorite song is Purple Rain has been for forever. Um, one thing that about those magazine questionnaires, don't believe that shit. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, you're, you're given this piece of paper by this magazine editor that says, fill this out. What's your favorite drink? <laughs> Beer, but I can't write that for a <laughs> What's your nickname? I don't have one. We'll make one up. Okay. I mean, so don't don't believe any of those any of those things. Um, but yeah, I mean, we we've been influenced by everything. But probably Prince is still probably my my go-to. So. Ah, there you go, Paisley Park. I, it's probably boring because my answer never changes. But Michael Jackson for me was everything, everything. And when I got, I got to go see Michael Jackson reunite with the Jackson Five. Uh, Madison Square Gardens, early 2000, first time they were together in like 25 years, and that was that was the best moment ever. Uh, concert and seeing an artist live, and it's my entire life. I know Jacobs on the same page with that. Yeah, but I actually bought a ticket to that show because oh, yes. I'm a real fan. <laughs> <laughs> this will forever piss me off. Because they play that concert all the time, and you see these fools in the front row like, ah, ah, like they were fans. What really happened was I spent about $1,700 buying tickets about two months before that, and I'm in the 25th row. That's why you can't see me. They only went because the night before they sat next to Susan Sarandon, and she handed them free tickets. So don't let them fool you. They were there by accident and didn't give me the front row. I am still in the 20 But Jacob, row. I saw you. We were on stage performing with the Jackson 5 and Mike. Yeah, yeah. I saw you in yeah. the audience. I was kind of standing on my chair like this. <laughs> like God this. Damn, they're having so much fun up there without me. <laughs> they're so nice. Don't bring your hand. Isn't that the story of our careers, just looking up and in sync? No. <laughs> That's all right, we've got Backstreet right here, I'm looking up for us. 98 Degrees was on that, looking up at 98 Degrees, I'm like, oh, we wish we could be them. <laughs> yeah, 98 was probably the top, then it was like, Backstreet was looking up to 98, we were looking up to Backstreet, and... Yeah. We were just looking up at everybody. <laughs> really? So funny, Chris. Give it up for Chris in his comic routine. Hey. He's done a hell of a job between him and Joey. But now I'm down looking up. I love you. Guys. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Except now I'm broke. Aww. So that's why I'm selling hot dogs, guys. <laughs> Flown them all in Orlando. Thank you. <laughs> uh, recently I've been influenced a lot by my kids. So I've 
listen to a lot of Disney Channel music. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. I'm done, for real. <laughs> if I have to hear freaking Paw Patrol one more damn time, I'm shooting I'm, I'm a super huge fan of the band Phanagram. I don't know if you guys heard of that, but they're dope. And um, the last three albums have been sort of an inspiration for me as a writer. Um, just the way they put the music together, the way they perform it live, um, innovation meets uh, creativity, um, and hopefully we can, as a band, O-Town, sort of emulate a little bit of that creativity and innovation with this next album. Tiny Tim, I love him. <laughs> Tim Tilly and Tillips. No, uh, I think mine has never really changed either. I mean, when I'm in the car, I was in the 80s. Um, anything from Journey to, of course, Michael Jackson, Frank Lamontiers, that's 50s. But you know, I, I love, yeah, and I love a good musical. <laughs> Me and Ashley, yeah, right. you love a good crude song too. Like a good crude one, yeah. like, like talk about boobs and butts and stuff. <laughs> Steel Panther's awesome. If you've never heard them, just listen to them. But it, don't, not, don't listen to it with your kids. No. Don't do it. It's like an 80s hair band, they're pretty cool. Uh, Michael, 90s hip hop and RB, and Kanye West. <laughs> uh, um, I'd probably say uh, Eagles and uh, Maxwell and some Sade. Same. <laughs> I thought it was same. Some sexual <laughs> Hey guys. Um, first of all, I love you all. I grew up dancing, and I danced to like all of your songs growing up. I was wondering, and this is for anyone who's going to take me up on it, could we get a little singing from somebody? AJ, go for it. <laughs> go for it, AJ. I gave you all my loves. <laughs> Usually, a lot of, uh, even though rock stars do it, but pop stars I would say too, we try not to sing anywhere until after noon. As you can hear, when you do stuff over the weekend, you start to lose your voice. That means, I guess I don't really sing that much anymore, so when I talk, I lose my voice. We made out. I said, this is how Lance does it. Oh, shut up, he's my friend. I can say whatever I want like that. I love him, I just don't love him. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm talking about, right, AJ? <clears throat> Next question. Next Hi, sorry, lost my voice. <laughs> Let's go to the three way. Shut up, that's not real. That's, real. that's not real. You're making fun now, Kermit. I'm sorry. It's National Loser Voice Day. <laughs> Did you make out with AJ? No, not that I remember. Okay, my question for Eric. Um, <laughs> so sorry. Okay, Dead Seven. If you haven't seen it, this is going to be a spoiler alert. I'm sorry. Although, if you haven't seen it, shame on you. I don't think it's going to be a spoiler alert. <laughs> person squeezing your voice box, that's amazing. <laughs> Go ahead, no, dude, it's awesome. We love it. We're not making fun of you, trust me. You sound like crap too. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Eric, your character is like the most badass warrior. Thank you. How did you feel? You were scary. <laughs> so how did you feel about the way that your character was like, and then, and then you died because you were kissing the girl. Yeah. All right. So here's the deal. When I got on set, I only had two to three lines in the script. And then 
towards midweek of the first week, they were like, well, we want to expand your character. So we started shooting a lot of the end of the film first. Um, so the kiss, that was sort of in the first to second week, and I had no idea what the context was. Um, little did I know there wasn't going to be any context <laughs> at all. Um, so I just trusted the director, and I was like, you know, I just went to work every day and sort of practiced in the morning and did my martial arts, and whenever they told me to, you know, kiss a girl, I did. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't know how it was going to turn out in the edit. I mean, in the edit, Chris is supposed to be a bad guy. And in the, in the edit that you saw, he's actually a good guy. Um, I just drank that way too damn long. That's a beautiful grown man that sounds like that. When I heard this, I have a sorry. I just told totally <laughs> you He just wasted five minutes of his precious time asking. Trying to ask a question, you played that. Don't talk no more. For the three of us. If you've ever wondered about what it's like being in a kind of boy bands, then things like that. Aww. Aww. The raspy. So let's, let's please div divulge the rest of Eric's character. I'd love to hear this. <laughs> Okay, so I guess Inside the another studio. tidbit of information. Um, my character was originally supposed to be played by Cisco from Drew Hill. Da, 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 da. It's like, and the character was actually called the Dragon, because obviously Cisco is the Dragon, right? And so when Cisco decided not to do it for schedule because of schedule reasons, they gave you know Nick, Nick asked me to do the part. He told me that he had to change the name because. Cisco wanted to take the name Dragon with him, and he didn't want anyone else to be the dragon. So, because it's super important that a movie character has the same name as like your nickname. And um, and anyway, they had to, he had to change my name on the spot to Komodo. So that's sort of how that character. Yeah, I'm pooping you, Komodo. Lots of Komodo. Yeah, to the jail. We have time here on last question. Over oh, one. Um, <laughs> I'm not the girl with the knife in her so. <laughs> um, Yeah, um, I have a question from my friend Hani in Toronto. Um, he says for AJ, but I'm going to change it to everybody. Um, what advice would you give someone who is trying to start a boy band and following all of your footsteps? Don't, Don't do, do it. it. <laughs> Be careful who you pick to be in your group. <laughs> no, we got Chris. I know. Learn from your mistakes. No, it's, Yay! Um, I think everybody up here can attest, no matter how good of friends you are, there are going to be times when you literally want to punch their face in. Um, so if you aren't already tight and on the same page and have the same goal and a similar work ethic, it's really, really going to be difficult. I mean, it's difficult regardless. But if you have... Some, some big personality differences, it's gonna just compound and magnify issues. Um, and invest in a therapist early on. <clears throat> the legalization of marijuana might help as well. Um, <laughs> no, I think it's, it's just a, it's a road, it's a hall, and you guys all gotta be in it for the same, for the same reasons and, and with the same commitment, passion. Otherwise, somebody's gonna die. <laughs> I think, Really, what you what you what what you really have to do is you have to show up, you have to be on time, and you have to work. Burn. You have to work. <laughs> Where are you? 
Words of Wisdom by Justin Jeffrey. All right, guys. Um, can we just give all these guys a huge round of applause? Yeah. We're, we're, we're done? We're done. Oh, oh. more questions. Are going to be here in about 15 minutes. We'll just stay right here. Just bring them in. We're going to wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. They're hot. Oh, goodness. Oh. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank yeah, you, you guys are amazing. Thanks a lot for being here. We appreciate it. We'll see you upstairs. Thanks, Rewind Comp, for bringing all some knuckleheads out here so we can have a good time.